as it kind of approaches it being a year, it's starting to be a lot more emotional than it has been in the past few months. Yeah. It's surreal to me that it's been a year because it's, mm. you know, it's, it seems like yesterday yeah. and then it just... In some ways, does it sometimes seem like there's a different lifetime ago, though? That's yeah, it about. does because my life is, it looks nothing like it did March 5th. 2015 it you know um, I'm not in the same home not in the same career I'm just everything is different um, so it's just it seems like it was so long ago but yet it seems like it was yesterday I this did. year has been you know a year of grieving and you know I'm trying you know have been trying to find my my new normal for myself and for my family and figure out where this grief will take its place in my life I very much um, understand that my son is part of, a, of a, a very large national conversation, that this situation, be it as it's in, an individual to me, mm -hmm. because that's my son, and, and because of Madison, it's the, the first of, um, um, the first, I guess, young black man has been shot by a police officer. Unarmed. Unarmed, Unarmed but right. um, I do, I do take, Pay, pay attention to the fact that he, his name is now among many other names yeah. that are part of this, this, this struggle. movement, this struggle, this, I guess, you know, I, I would call an epidemic. The anniversary approaching, mm -hmm. um, how, how do you think, where do you think the focus should be? How do you think people should deserve that if they choose? Um, we, we, you know, my son was a very giving person. So we want people to, you know, like a day of service. I want, you know, people to do something for someone else. You know, be kind to someone else. You know, do things in in a sense of of help helping the person next to you. You know, making making yourself a better person and trying to help the people around you be better people. Okay. Um, and we've asked for that. That you know, I plan on going and talking to you know the kids in the city and I've asked for people to just you know whatever it is if even it's just be saying something kind to the next person or going and, and donating your time to a shelter or something mm -hmm. something nice and positive for someone else because that's who my son was and if I was do anything in his honor that would be it you know I try to just let people know that my son was a very good kid he was a really good kid um, you know, he, he had a bright future and I know that he would have been a very good man.